preparatory work for power plant and port facilities under Matarbari Ultra Super Critical Coal Fired Power Project Package 1.1. The project is located at Matarbari and Dholghata Union of Mohish Kaliupazila of Cox's Bazar District. Main item for constructions are dredging of channel for construction equipment mobilization, stockpiling of suitable materials, site office for the employer and the engineer. Bangladesh is a land of natural beauty. Historically, people are famous for friendliness and warm hospitality. It is home to the world's largest river delta and world's largest mangrove. Cox's Bazaar is the longest sea beach in the world. Economy is gradually shifting from agro-based to service industry. To secure stable power supply, a study was conducted by JICA to formulate Coal Power Development Master Plan. JICA conducted detailed study including the selection of candidate sites. On the basis of JICA study, construction of 1200 megawatt Matarbari Ultra Super Critical Coal Fired Power Plant Project was conceived. To address environmental safety measures, Matarbari project includes low NOx burner to reduce NOx emission, seawater FGT to reduce SOx emission, electrostatic precipitator to reduce dust and fly ash. Of Matarbari project are construction of jetty and coal handling facilities for coal import and storage, downship development, road communication, rural electrification, transmission line and substation, land acquisition and resettlement action plan has been formulated on the basis of JICA guidelines. Land acquisition and resettlement action plan includes entitlement for different types of losses, livelihood restoration and improvement plan, organizational responsibilities and implementation procedures, grievance redress mechanism, specific measures for vulnerable group and income rehabilitation assistance. Since independence, Japan has been a trusted friend of Bangladesh. In the development of Bangladesh, role of Japan is enormous. Matarbari project is so far the single largest ODA funding project of JICA. Consultancy services contract was signed on 7 January 2015. Kickoff meeting with the consultant MJVC. Opening of bid for the pre-qualification of EPC contractor. Technical bid opening for preparatory work. Bid opening for Matarbari 132 by 33 kV substation. Bid opening for Matarbari 132 kV line. Financial bid opening for preparatory work. On 14 February 2016, contract was signed for preparatory work. Issuing of bid documents for EPC contract. Pre-bid meeting for EPC contract. Bid receive for EPC contract. Site visit by high power delegation.
Site visit by Parliamentary Standing Committee. Site visit by Secretary, Power Division. JICA Appraisal Mission at ERT. Evaluation Committee Meeting for EPC Contract. Site Visit by High Power Delegation. Considering Matarbari as a flagship project, Government of Bangladesh is monitoring the project activities closely. Visit of High Power Delegation from both the Government of Bangladesh and Japan is very common. Originally, the project site was marshy land, generally used for salt and shrimp cultivation, depending on seasonal variation. The contractor verified the control points using the data provided by the engineer. The contractor mobilized major land construction equipment at site. The contractor's accommodation and office was positioned inside the site boundary, which is strictly secured. The security guards were allocated at every strategic point and for patrolling all over the site regularly. Around 40 numbers of staff, including foreigners and local staff, were working in the office regularly. The accommodation was fully equipped with modern facilities including kitchen, dining, gym, beds. At the beginning, the contractor started preparing the site for work. Shipping containers were transformed into site office. This is a graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The first stage photos were taken on 25th March 2016. The temporary landing jetty was built by the contractor on the southeast side of the project. This allowed project personnel to an easy access to the site from the river. The contractor made the plan for environmental monitoring to determine the impact of construction activities to the project. This monitoring was carried out regularly based on approved monitoring plan. The findings were reported accordingly. The plan was to monitor and investigate the actual transition of offshore wave, current and suspended solid. During the dredging operation, the dredger and dredging point was guided with GPS system. This is the graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The second stage photos were taken on 5th September 2016. The monitoring data 
was recorded by acoustic Doppler current profiler, a hydroacoustic current meter similar to a sonar. The broad objectives of consulting services are design, preparation of bid documents, construction, supervision and monitoring of environmental issues up to defect liability period. The contractor constructed mainly three kinds of the temporary access bunds on the site. The first is sand bund, sand bund with geotube and last is clay bund. During construction period, 6,420 meters sand bund was constructed, 1,630 meters geotube bund was constructed and 7,050 meters clay bund was constructed. The contractor used self-propelled cutter suction dredger Cassiopeia 5 for this temporary channel dredging. The temporary channel was approximately 2.8 kilometers long and 100 meters wide and depth was up to minus 7 meters MSL. Total dredged volume was approximately 2.4 million cubic meters. The dredged materials were discharged into two different dumping areas. The discharging point was approximately 4 kilometers. Total stockpiled volume was around 1.4 million cubic meters. Material samples were taken at the discharging point every hour for pan flock test and two times in a day for sieve test. The results of material tests were recorded, monitored and reported accordingly. This is the graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The third stage photos were taken on 19th January 2017. Japan International Cooperation Agency is providing financial assistance to Matarbari Ultra Supercritical Coal Fired Power Project. For the successful implementation of Matarbari project, JICA Dhaka Office is providing its all out support and cooperation. The three-story permanent site office building for the employer and the engineer was designed and constructed by the contractor. The building is located at southeast of the project site, nearby temporary jetty. The total office area is approximately 250 square meters. The building is supported by board concrete pile under the ground and the structure is built of reinforced concrete. On the rooftop, symbolic arbor was constructed and has panoramic view of site.
CPGCBL is an enterprise of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Secretary Power Division is the Chairman of CPGCBL Board. This is the graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The fourth stage photos were taken on 3rd March 2017. After completion of site operations, the contractor demobilized the construction equipment, materials and facilities. With the departure of Cassiopeia 5, completion of temporary channel dredging comes to an end. Actual time schedule of the project. Temporary bunks, temporary landing jetty, dredging, pocket dredging, temporary channel dredging, stockpiling of segregated dredged material, site office for the employer and the engineer handover of the project. For the first time in South Asia, Bangladesh is going to use ultra super critical technology for the coal fired power plant at Matarbari. The outcome of this technology is higher efficiency with lower emission. In future, Matarbari will be considered as nucleus of the power sector of Bangladesh. From here, imported coal is expected to be transshipped to other parts of the country. In short, Matarbari will be the gateway for other future projects.